Time to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Um, this one about a wide receiver target for the Browns. I wanted to follow up on a question that I saw in a video. Jerry had asked you about a, a possible Baker DK Metcalf trade. Didn't seem reasonable to me, and you you already covered it. But what about Tyler Lockett? Is there a scenario where we offload Baker and then finagle a, a trade for Tyler Lockett? He seems like a more reasonable uh, uh uh, ask that to be able to trade. Thanks. As always, appreciate all of the voicemails. And G. Bush, um, I like that that one. I, I see some possibilities with that. If if the Seahawks decide they want to move on from Tyler Lockett and they're going young, trying to rebuild, that might be something that you can work with there. Man, let me tell you something. Tyler Lockett is probably one of the most underrated receivers in the game. Now, here's the thing that, that's really interesting about Tyler Lockett is we just talked about Will Fuller and, and Brandon uh, and, and, and Brandon Cooks. We just talked about what they can give uh, in, in the deep game with, the, in, in, with that speed. The funny thing about Tyler Lockett is he can do both. Uh, and I, I looked at it. I thought Tyler Lockett was way older because he's been in my face for a long period of time with, with the good uh, teams in, in Seattle with Russell Wilson. He is only 29 years old. He's 29 years old. And the thing that really I like about him is he gives you the inside routes. He gives you hands. And he has some deep ability. So when I'm looking at Tyler Lockett, if they can make a move for that, that is a home run. Take a look at what he did in 2021, right? Uh, and the thing I like most is he's available and durable. Uh, he's played 16 games uh, in the last – Eight years, basically, from 2015. He's played 15, at least 15 games uh, going all the way to 2021. Uh, and, and so that durability is there, so you don't have to worry about some of the things Will Fuller uh, and, and Cooks have. Now, take a look at his receiving. Uh, I mean, he's giving you 1,175 yards, almost uh, 1,200 yards uh, with the uh, Seattle Seahawks last year, eight touchdowns. Uh, and, and you look at his reception, 73 receptions, and, he, and he's averaging 16.1 a catch. Now, I'll tell you what, if you can maneuver anything to bring in a guy who has those type of numbers, has that type of maneuverability, has some has some deep threat, catches the football, veteran, you do everything you can to get him. I, I salute to the caller for bringing that one up because it looks like the Seattle Seahawks are, are waving the, the white flag, so to speak. I, I don't know really kind of what they're doing. Uh, if they're going to move on from all these other guys, uh, they might as well go ahead and get rid of uh, Lockett. They may not give up DK Metcalf because they think they're going to get a quarterback and they need receiver to kind of give them some pieces. But 29-year-old older receiver, that's really not going to do anything for your youth movement. Move him on over here. He'd be a great fit, an awesome fit. Uh, and working underneath routes and doing and working with Deshaun Watson. And the other thing is, is you figure, you know, if if Devontae Parker got a third round pick, Lockett a third round pick, you you do the math, kind of frees up some ca some cap space for you to fit Baker's contract in. It's it is a well thought out um, trade proposal, and I think it's a good one from the uh, caller. So uh, tip of the cap to you, great job.